big, big plans for everybody in the boxing world. Hey, Javante, knock, knock. Let's get to it. All right, man. I'm sitting here waiting for the Jerome Boost in his fight. But while I'm waiting for this fight, bro, I just want to talk about Abdullah Mason. What do you think about that dude, bro? That dude, like I had said before, he is one of the up-and-coming prospects. And I think he went out there last night and did a great job showing that fighter spirit, showing that he's a gladiator, showing that he's a warrior, showing that he got heart. And everybody literally trying to bring up the fact, oh, but he got dropped two times, though. He got dropped two times, though. Shut up. He got dropped two times and got right back up. But when you talking about the fact that Vasquez got dropped two times as well. What? He got dropped two times? I don't remember that. That's because he didn't get back up the second time. That's why you don't remember it. You see, when Abdullah Mason got dropped the first time, he got back up. When he got dropped the second time, he got back up. When Vasquez got dropped the first time, he got back up. And on the second time he got dropped, he didn't get back up. What you, what you want me to lie to you, make it sound fly to you? And something that I have noticed about Abdullah Mason as well is that he don't mind getting into a fight with you. You know what I'm saying? He's somebody who can box, but he don't mind getting into a fight with you. He was standing his ground, and he was fighting with this dude with Vasquez. He didn't really have to because he got the skills, but he was showing that he can. People say, well, oh, man, he ain't got no chin. Whatever. He got a heart. Even if Abdullah Mason is chinny, even if he is chinny, that still doesn't stop somebody who got a heart. Because when you got a heart, you can overcome adversity. And you will overcome adversity like Abdullah Mason did last night. I'm proud of that dude. I'm glad that he's up and coming. And I can't wait to see more of him. Y'all keep on trying to talk trash about him all y'all want to. But he's still coming. It ain't nothing that y'all can say that's going to stop this kid. I can already see it. Moving right along. Then we got Keyshawn Davis. Listen, man. Keyshawn Davis just put on a master class. He put on a master class. And as you guys already know, he did call out Tank Davis. He called out Tank Davis because he feel like he definitely deserves that fight. I feel like he deserves that fight. And I think this performance last night shows that he deserves a fight with Tank Davis. It shows that he's ready for a fight with Tank Davis. That's how you do it. Somebody try to cheat. Show them who you are. Show them that you was made for this. Show them, hey, you can come in six pounds over and I still be a nightmare for you, nigga. I was already a fan of Keyshawn Davis, but now I'm rocking with him even harder after this. After the fact that he was able to put a cheater in his place. And for anybody who want to tell me, bro, how is that cheating? I've already been through this and I've already went over this on why it's cheating. This dude, Gustavo Lemos, knew what he was doing, okay? To this day. He knew what he was doing. He knew that he was coming in six pounds over, and he knew he was trying to have an advantage. To this day. Anybody say, well, he just didn't want to be drained. And nigga, whatever. He should have never accepted the fight. If he felt like he was going to be drained at 135, nobody forced him to sign that fight. It ain't like Keyshawn Davis is a big payday, so he ain't got no excuses on why he went on here and accepted that fight if he felt like he was going to be drained. We don't want to hear it. Keyshawn Davis showed you how it's supposed to be done. And I knew it. I said he's going to knock this dude out. I said I am anticipating him to knock this dude out because I just can't stand cheaters. I can't stand people who try to cheat. I can't stand people who award cheating. I can't stand people who defend cheating. I probably don't like them as much as the people who's actually cheating. That's why I'm be trying to hear none that these niggas be talking about because they ain't got no morals. They applaud cheaters. I don't. Gustavo Lemos got what was coming to him. He ran into somebody that he thought he was going to be able to wait, Bully, but he didn't anticipate the type of power and skill that Keyshawn Davis had. He thought he was fighting another Richardson Hitchens. That's what he thought. What do you mean by that? No disrespect to Richardson Hitchens, but I'm going to be honest with you. What Keyshawn Davis did tonight to Gustavo Lemos is what Richardson Hitchens should have done, but he didn't. And I'm glad Keyshawn Davis showed with him. And I think Keyshawn Davis has earned his fight with Javante Tank Davis. But I'm going to be honest about something. Even if he don't get that fight, it is what it is. He got other people that he can go at. I mean, I really would like to see him take care of Teofimo Lopez first. I mean, if I'm being honest. And he already said that he'll go up to 140. Listen, did you see how strong he was at 135? Fighting somebody who was at 154, technically. Imagine how strong he'll be at 140. 
Man, this dude were terrorized Telfimo Lopez. This is what Telfimo Lopez is running from. This is what Telfimo Lopez knew all along. You gotta give Telfimo Lopez credit. He know a nigga with talent when he see one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He know a dude with talent when he see one. That's why he told Keyshawn Davis, don't call him out after his fight. And that's why he don't wanna fight Keyshawn Davis. Cause he already knew what was gonna happen. The boy's scary. It is what it is. He's still a great boxer. He's just scared of Keyshawn Davis. That's all. But I think Keyshawn Davis, if he don't get the fight with uh, Tank, I think, you know what I'm saying, he can still try to go at one of the other champions. You know what I'm saying? We already know he ain't going to go at Shakur Stevenson. At least go at Dennis Berichek. If you ain't going to go at Shakur Stevenson and you can't get the fight with Tank Davis, at least go at Dennis Berichek. Because it's about time for that dude to be a champion. With that performance last night, oh yeah, it's definitely time for him to be a champion.